Hi, how you doing? We're going to do another fight breakdown today. I'm quite enjoying doing these, so um, bear with me. The format's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, this time, the film we're going to look at is the 2012 film uh, Jack Reacher, based on Lee Child's book One Shot. Um, the character Jack Reacher is... Um, this big ex-military tough guy, six foot five, eighteen stone, fantastically scary big fighter. So of course he's played in this film by Tom Cruise, who is literally a whole foot shorter than Jack Reach is supposed to be. Um, and we'll just put that aside. So this is the fight. If you're familiar with the film, this is the fight. Uh, it takes place outside the bar. Um, Reach has met a girl, he's a bit dubious, he, and he doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Um, she takes offence, and some guys come over, her brothers, and they, it starts a fight, they all go outside. Um, clearly, this is a setup. Uh, the idea is they're just going to beat him up and scare him away. Um, so we've got five guys against Jack, Jack Reacher, and watched by a girl, Sandy. So they've gone outside, um, and the fight's about to start. Obviously there's one ringleader, and our hero's been talking to him. So what we'll do is we'll see how, how the fight starts, and see if Tom Cruise can pull off being a giant who's good at fighting. Remember, you wanted this. I don't know about you, but I can't hear Tom Cruise's voice, especially when he's trying to be a little intimidating, a little cocky, without thinking of his, his early films. Things like The Colour of Money and Top Gun. And don't get me wrong, these are films I love, but I just see this small, young, cocky guy who thinks he's tougher than he is. So I'm already struggling at this point. Um, he, he says, I don't, uh, you know, are you sure, I warned you, 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 know, you sure you want this, whatever it is he says. And the other guy takes a swing and he ducks inside and he does something with his right hand. I'm assuming what he does is gets his balance with his right hand because then he throws this sort of rolling elbow round up in his face. It's a lovely looking move, don't get me wrong. But, uh, is it convincing? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see how the fight moves on from here, see if he can win me back. Because at the moment, I'm, I'm not hooked. I'm not hooked, Tom. I'm sorry, mate. You're just not doing it for me. It's okay. You're okay. Get up. Oh! Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? Um, I'm guessing what we're going for here in this film is instead of being a big, strong, muscly, physically intimidating guy who's really good at fighting what we've got is a Jack Reacher who's small and a bit crazy and does all sorts of mean things like telling someone they're alright, helping them to the feet and then kicking them really really hard in the balls um yeah fine okay let's keep going um it this isn't Jack Reacher to me Bored now! I know what they're going for. You know, we, we see Jack Reacher kick the guy over. He's clearly out of the fight now, incapacitated. The camera pans around, it looks at everyone. There's this whole Clint Eastwood good, the bad and the ugly thing, building tension, looking at the faces of the different people. It, it's not working for me. And, and part of the reason it's not working for me is because I don't think Tom Cruise is particularly scary at this point. I think out of all the people the camera looks at, he's the one that looks the most scared. And that that's not right, is it? Okay. Now we know who's who. Let's get this done. <laughs> I'm not really 
really sure what happened there. There were lots of spinning, there were some elbows, there was the odd punch. Um, I think we're going to have to go back and look at that bit by bit, probably in slow motion, to find out what on earth happened. Um, the tiny, tiny little scary man seems to have, well, knocked everyone over except for one person whose leg he's holding. So let's go back to the beginning of that and look at these moves individually and see if we can work out what on earth is going on. Clearly, the, the bad guys are using the, the Bruce Lee style here and all queuing up one at a time to fight against him. One of them kind of squares up and then throws a big punch which he blocks with both hands. Um, let's leave aside the fact that Tom Cruise starts to move with the block before the other guy has even started swinging the punch. Let's forget about that for a moment and just look at the fact that he blocks it with both hands then hits the guy's arm with one hand and then kind of comes around and, and hits him again and when you see it in slow motion it doesn't really look very believable. Um, so, uh, still not impressed. Don't really like this. There's so much more he could have done there. The, the way that the, the knockout punch in the barn fight in Snatch, go back and watch the breakdown of that. That little Fitzsimmons shift, the guy throws a big punch, he switches round, he starts with his left knee, he switches round, and he covers with this hand and throws this one out in a punch, and that's brilliant. You could have done that here, and that would have been awesome. As it is, you didn't. You kind of went, ooh, he's, block he's punching me. I'll block his arm with both of mine, then I'll hit his arm, despite the fact that I've no need to hit this arm. Let's see if what happens next is any more impressive. Ah, the old spinning elbow that actually doesn't go anywhere near the person who then falls over. Yeah, we've seen that one before. Um, yeah, it's more of the same really, isn't it? Okay, next bit. What is it with these double blocks? This, again, guy comes in with a big punch, Tom Cruise goes over to block it, and he does something weird with his right hand to kill a little bit of time while the other guy comes over and lands one in his kidneys. Now, bearing in mind that Tom Cruise's character in this is the smallest man there, and he's been flooring people left, right and centre with the tiniest and mildest of blows, this bigger guy punching him in the kidneys really hard doesn't even do anything. Tom Cruise turns around, pushes one guy, and then, I, I don't know, uses some kind of imaginary chi blast to make the other guy fall over. Um, next. Another double block. Are you kidding me? I mean, what? Is this, I don't know, was this choreographed by a five-year-old? Yet another big swinging punch, yet another double block. Hands up, oh no, please don't hit me. And then a kind of half-strength hammer fist to the back of the leg, which somehow manages to almost cripple the guy. This better get good soon, I tell you. Okay, so having blocked his arm without doing any harm to him and then lightly tapped him on the back of the leg, that's disabled him enough that you can kind of change your position, sweep his foot away and he'll fall over. Because, I don't know, maybe he's an imbecile or something. I don't know, but... Oh, God, please. <laughs> Everybody's lying on the floor now except for one guy who decides to flail his arms around a bit and then throw a fairly predictable roundhouse kick in which Tom Cruise's character kind of sidles across and takes hold of. At that point, instead of doing what any reasonable person would do, 
Um, a move that I once pulled off in a full contact karate tournament when somebody caught my kick, I simply leaned forward and punched them. Tom Cruise holds his leg and the other guy just kind of hangs around there and hops a bit and says, okay, you got me, because, well, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Tom Cruise has this man's leg, he doesn't have either of his hands, and he steps in and punches him with a little contracted arm, uppercut, into, I don't know, the lower abdomen. It's not quite a groin shot, it's not quite a solar plexus shot, but somehow it still manages to do more damage than either of those. And the other guy, despite having both his hands free at this point, just takes it. Really? No! Everybody else has stood up by now. Tom Cruise is using this guy as a bit of a shield. Really doesn't want to fight anymore, clearly, because these guys are all so, so impressively scary as fighters. So he kicks this guy, I don't know, in the leg. It looks to me more like a kind of rising kick. Yet the guy acts as if he's been stamped on by an elephant, rather than lightly tapped in the knee by a very, very small man. Um, oh, and we can hear some sirens, which probably means that's the end of the fight. Let's hope, eh? Hey? <laughs> Thank God for that, it's all over. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I don't mind Tom Cruise as an actor. I love some of the stuff he's been in, but as Jack Reacher? No, no that's just wrong. And this fight looks pretty good when it's played quickly and you don't actually pay any attention to what's going on in the fight. It's shot well, the, the camera angles are good, the lighting's good, it's a nice looking piece, but it really isn't a fight. And, and that's kind of, to me, that's really disappointing, because what I expect, when, when someone says Lee Child to me, or Jack Reacher, I kind of see this dark, grimy, hardcore, violent, well, and, and that's not what I'm getting. I'm getting, what I'm getting feels very much like the, the kind of, the fight outside the bar in an officer and a gentleman, which, I'll have to add to the list to review because, you know, it's a fight, so I should do that. But it, it's just not really very believable. And that, that's really disappointing. In a kind of high-octane violent thriller, I at least want the violence to be believable. Isn't that why these people get paid so much money? Um, anyway, so I don't like this fight. Maybe you do. Maybe you think that this is a brilliant film and this fight's quite believable. Um, by all means, stick something in the comments. Let me know. Let's have a chat about it. I love the discussions that these fight breakdowns stimulate. Please like the video. That's really, really nice. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, same usual things. You can support me on Patreon. That would be great. I'd really appreciate it if you could. As little as a dollar a month you can support me with. Become a patron. And that helps me spend more time with these. And hopefully one day I'll be able to buy a really powerful computer with some good editing software. And we can make these a little bit more enjoyable for everybody. But for now, there'll be more fight breakdowns coming out. Make sure you're subscribed. There's more stuff. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.